In this YouTube video, I'm going to make this resume example that can be used for a nursing job application. It's a simple yet professional setup that encourages hiring managers to read through. Now, if you prefer to save some time and want to download matching resumes and cover letter templates, then click on the link in the description for more information. Now, I will also provide you with tips on how to put skills, working experience and certificates on a nursing resume to make it better than 9 out of 10 other resumes based on solid research. Now, without further ado, let's start making this resume in Microsoft Word. First off, I want to start with the margins. Go to the Layout tab, Margins, and pick the Normal or Narrow Margin settings. Now, I would advise you to pick the Narrow settings for some extra space to avoid cropped sentences and keep everything on a one-page document. Okay, next up we go to the Insert tab, Shapes, and pick a rectangular shape. Cover the header area and make it align. Now once that's done, we select the shape and click on the shape fill drop down menu and choose a light blue color and remove the shape outline. Let's see, we need to draw a text box so we can include our personal information. Again, remove the shape filler and outline. Now let's zoom in and enter your name and surname. Go to the Home tab to center it and increase the font size to let's say 24. Bold highlight it to make it stand out a bit more. After that we need to include some contact information. Start with the city and state, email address, phone number and LinkedIn profile. Now don't underestimate the advantages of LinkedIn for nurses. It can be used to strategically network with other nurses and healthcare colleagues. Research shows that it can increase your chances by 71% for landing an interview. Now, press the spacebar once and enter the button a couple of times to detach the cursor from the header area. Now, let's divide the resume into sections, including education, certificates, skills, and experience in caps lock. Now, the sequence of these sections highly depends on the position you are after and your professional experience background. Now, if you have a lot of relevant working experience, then I would advise you to start with an experience section. But remember, always put the best of above the fold. Now create two white lines in between each section and bold highlight education. We also need to adjust the line spacing options. Go to the spacing settings and change these to 12 points before and 12 points after and press OK. I also want to add some borders to visually separate these sections from the body text. Click on this little arrow icon and pick top and bottom borders in the drop down menu. Furthermore, pick in between the 13 to 16 point font size. I think 14 looks fine. Next up, we need to place the cursor in the middle of the keyword and click the format painter twice. Select the other sections to paste the formatting. OK, make sure to disable the formatting option. So right now we can start adding the educational background. So for example, university or school's name and the degree. Make it stand out a bit more using bold and italics. After that we include the city, state and time spent in college. Now to align these to the right, we need a ruler. Now, if you don't see this option, you need to go to the View tab and enable Ruler. OK, let me show you what this option does. So if you place the cursor right here, click somewhere in the ruler to place a left tab stop and press Tab. After that, we need to add some subcategories and list information on GPA, extracurricular activities, Dean's List, Honors, and or relevant coursework. Now that brings us to the certificates and licenses section. Now in this section you need to list the license type, licensing state and number. Now although these license numbers can be found online, it's important to add them to your resume for two reasons. One, many recruiters first want to see if you are qualified before they scan through the whole resume. And second, 
it saves them time and energy. Also, make sure to add the license activation and perhaps also expiration date on the right side. Okay, next up we have the skill section. Go to the insert tab, click on the table drop down menu and pick a three by one table. Now, as you can see, the margins are not perfect, but we can change that. Go to the table layout, cell margins, and change the left and right windows to zero. There you go. Now, before I add some soft and hard skills, research shows that applicants only included 51% of the relevant keywords in the resume. Now, in order to know what kind of keywords you should be looking at, I would advise you to copy the job description. Go to the free word cloud generator, paste it right in there and click on generate cloud. Now once you've filled all the cells, I like to first align these cells and after that, I remove the borders. Now in order to do so, select the whole table and go to table design. Click the table drop down and select no borders. Okay, that brings us to the experience section. Now let's say you have some experience as a certified nursing assistant at a community hospital. Now let me fast forward a bit. Now, I structured the sentences according to the PAR method, which stands for Problem, Action and Results. Now that way you bring impact and purpose to your experiences. Same goes for using action verbs at the beginning of each sentence, like called, worked and implemented. Furthermore, do you notice how I quantified my experiences? Now, measurable metrics illustrate someone's value and improves your chances of getting that interview. Okay, let me copy and paste the whole paragraph and let's add another section. Now, if you still have some space, you could add a references, activities, miscellaneous or interest section. Now, I like to pick an interest section to show the human side behind the resume and also relate to the reader's interests. Now that doesn't mean you should add some fluffy buzzwords and cliches like 51% of the resumes include. No, try to grab the reader's interest. For example, I like traveling and try to visit a new country each year. I also inform the reader about my 2021 travel ambition. I also like reading and could add some of my favorite books related to nursing. Another interest of mine is watching Netflix, but also enter something along the lines of binge watch Dexter and Nurses Who Kill. Okay, skip that last title if you still want a job. Anyway, I hope you get the idea. Now, lastly, I also want to emphasize the importance of properly sending your resume. Unless instructed otherwise, save your resume as a PDF or Word document attached to the email and save it accordingly. So name, surname, resume. Now that way, the reader will know that it is yours without even opening the document. Now, it proves your attention to detail and can make the difference between getting that interview or not. Okay, before I end this video, I would like to know if you watched the whole video. And I'm even more curious if you actually got the nursing position. Leave an emoji with glasses if you watched the video till the end. And leave an emoji with sunglasses if you actually got the job. I want to thank you for watching and if you have any questions, leave a comment down below and I'll respond as soon as possible. Now, if this video was helpful, then a like and subscribe is greatly appreciated. Now, thanks again for watching and see you next time. Bye!